And this is Central Library's Lenten Library. The Lenten Library has always been the Lenten Library since we opened in 1890, but and a lot of what you can see was here then, a lot of the shelving around the walls is original to the Victorian building. However, if you'd come here in 1890, you would have had a very different experience because in those days, all the books were closed access, so you had to ask a member of staff to get books out for you. And, and you knew what the library had in because they had a big, uh, what they call a cot grieve indicator on the wall, which showed all the stock, whether it was in, whether it was out, and you asked for what you wanted. This system didn't last very long, as you can imagine, and before very much longer, we had a huge counter in the middle of the, the library floor, which has reduced in size over the years until you see it's just a small pod that we have now. The Lendon Library is one of the busiest libraries in Edinburgh and from here we lend out adult fiction and adult non-fiction. So now we're in the basement of Central Library. Our basement gets used for all sorts of things. This is where all the old furniture comes to die, where all the rubbish ends up, but it's also a storage area for some of the books from the Edinburgh and Scottish collection that you can see round about me. We're now in the basement of the Central Library storage area. It looks a lot different from the store higher up the building um, and that's because back in 2013 we had a problem with the shelving here where it all collapsed and we had to have it all taken out and these wonderful new uh, roller shelving put in. Uh, so now this area holds the stock of the Music Library and some of the stock of the Edinburgh and Scottish Library. This is the home of our resources management team and just now we're standing a couple of floors above the cow gate of Central Library um, and all these amazing boxes that you can see behind me, that this is the new stock that's getting ready to go out to all the different libraries in Edinburgh. Normally speaking, before Covid, all these boxes would have been delivered direct to the libraries but for now we're having them brought here and dealt with centrally and then sent out to the, the staff. Now this area of the library has been the home of our bibliographic services, our stock acquisition service for many, many, many years. But when the library opened at first, part of this area was actually a, a flat for the caretaker for the library. So we had our very own caretaker. And we, would you believe, um, we had a baby born in Central Library to one of the caretakers back in the, the late 1800s. Uh, welcome to our lovely and amazing children's library. This is the under fives area of, of the children's library and it was opened in 2014. Uh, so it's a lovely modern space and, and if you look around you can see there's some fantastic illustrations on the wall here. The, the illustrations were done by a lady called Catherine Rayner, who's a well-known children's artist and illustrator and she very kindly did these illustrations for us for free uh, and they're just beautiful and amazing and we love them very much. This is the area of the library where we tend to do our, all our book bug sessions. So we have those twice a week um, and everybody under five is very welcome to come along to them. The children's library was designed by one of our uh, council colleagues, Leslie McMillan. Uh, she was one of the interior architects who works for the council and all the design was done in-house. This area of the children's library is for older children, so from five upwards, five to twelve. And it's a very popular space for people to come and browse books and sit and read. And some of the circles on the wall behind me are great favourites with children for reading their comics or 
their books before they leave. This area of the library at one point was originally a bank, would you believe? Um, and for years when I started working in Central Library, a long time ago, it was always known as the bank building. It then became an area for uh, learning to use computers and for use for some of our disabled customers, but it's made a fantastic children's library.